So after after the the first try, they died a horrible, horrible death. Now they're trying to change things up a little, sort of change their loadouts. You can see the mage is now going for uh, ice staff, warriors changing for a gun and a nice, nice Gordon Freeman suit. Uh, warriors trying weapon and shield. Let's see how well the guys are going to do. We're skipping ahead to the second part of Arcane Kingdom. So let's see how the guys are going to do now in the gardens. So we now have, uh, the guys don't have, they have a very different loadout than they have the first time. Uh, Rogue with the, with the gun, he has the skill called Explosive Shot. It works pretty much like the Torque Bow in Gears of War. So if he, he tags an enemy with an Explosive Shot, after a few seconds the enemy explodes, dealing damage around. We also have Warrior with the Weapon and Shield. He's a very, very effective tank character. He has one of the best crowd control abilities in Dungeonland, which, which is the Shoot Push. He can push enemies away, not only uh, repositioning them on the battlefield, but also stunning them for a few seconds. And Ice Mage is really, really more focused on support. He can debuff enemies, slow them down, freeze them, and things like that. But uh, to spice things up, Mage didn't equip the heal ability. He has the Arcane Link ability, which is really more focused on damage, as we'll probably see. Yeah, he just cast it. So this is Arcane Link. It creates a link between the guys. So, that li so if enemies get caught in the midst of that, they're going to take a lot of damage. So the guys ne really need to, like, get together now and kill the spawner. Nice, nicely done. So you can see, as, the, as their build changes, the way that their skill interact changes as well. So now that Mage has a nice wall, Warrior can use his push ability to push that wall forward. And also, Rogue can shoot through the ice wall, so his, his shots are going to, to catch the ice magic and deal extra cold damage and slow enemies down, like he's doing there. So really, our philosophy behind Dungeon Land is that if you, if, you change your, if you change your skills, your friends change your skills, you're going to have to play differently. You're going to have to adapt. So that's another, another danger event. Once again, it's a monster. Well, we just got bad luck. It's once again a monster that multiplies itself every time you hit him. You can see Warrior using his stun ability. It's a very, very good uh, team play maneuver because he can get all the monsters around him. Oh, nice. And Rogue uses his bomb. So... The taunt ability makes Warrior invulnerable and attracts all the enemies to him. So when Rogue threw that bomb right on side of Warrior with Taunt, they took that boss so, so easily. And that's what we want to happen in Dungeonland. We want you to have these random situations that force you to improvise, force you to look at your friend's abilities and see what's the plan. So here the guys are coming for the second ride in Arcane Kingdom. It's called Cup, Cup and Die. Uh, they're reloading the sheep cannon that they're going to use to go for our Dungeonland style spinning cups. So getting the cups for, for, there you go. So here we have a spinning cups Dungeonland style with a little sheep cannon throw in for good measure. So the guys need to survive three waves of enemies where they're going to get assaulted by these spinning cups with vaxes on it and they have this sheep cannon that they need to reload. There's a lot of things going on, on the screen right now. Let's see how well these guys are going to do. So you see Mage getting the sheep and throwing them. You can absolutely pick up sheep and throw them in Dungeon Land. That's the main feature of the game. <laughs> nice. So Rogue got completely owned by that cup over there. So the guys are trying to revive him right now. Mage is using his ice wall to freeze enemies, but that was, wasn't very effective. They had to waste a life. Now Rogue is back. So you, ha you just had a brief look at Dungeon Land. This is very early. We still have a long way to go with this game. Uh, we're targeting a 2012 release. We're just now confirmed for PC and Mac. Uh, you can see a lot more news in Dungeon Land in the next following months, and we hope we can show you pretty soon our Dungeon Master PvP mode. So that's it for Dungeon Land. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time.